Summer 7 Bright Star B Plus level class. We begin class today with the second half of the line dance, All Right. I'll just do it from the beginning. It starts with these slow heels. Pivot, turn, paddle, step. Fast heel, fast heel, tap, tap, step, and step. Step, and step, step. So that was the new part. Coming out of those two fast taps, we have tap and tap and step, step. I said that wrong. Heel and heel and tap, tap, step and step, step and step, step. Those last couple steps we're using to turn because the rest of the dance will be in this direction and it keeps progressing around. Once we're facing in the new direction, we do these like kickball changes, but they're also swivel pivoty. So it's like a heel ball change, heel ball change, heel ball change, Heel ball change from the front. Heel ball change, heel ball change, straight and bend, right and left. On from those fast heels, it is fast heel, fast heel, tap, tap, step, and step, step and step, step, heel ball change, heel ball change, heel ball change, heel ball change, and then I'll fix so you can see it just ended with some step taps too slow and then four fast and then the whole thing repeats the whole thing sure here's the whole thing heel heel pivot turn paddle step heel and heel and tap tap step and step step and turning step heel ball change heel ball change heel ball change heel ball change step tap step tap Step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap. And voila, that is your solo jazz. Then we move into sugar pushes again, and we talked about keeping these arms really relaxed, even in a regular sugar push, so I'm not engaging until I really have to, when I sense Kenda's momentum changing. We also practice footwork a little bit with some words, so for follows, we were saying we're going forwards, 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 and back, keep going back. Forwards, 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 and back. Keep going back. And for these, we did. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Leaves did back, back, forwards, and the. Uh, how do we go? I think of it as back, back, trip, pull, forwards, trip, pull, back, 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 trip, pull, forwards, trip, pull, back, 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 one, and forwards, back, back. So that's something you can practice on your own. Um, and then we added a basket, which is not a sugar push at all, except you really have to keep your arms relaxed, like in a sugar push for and this to work. it starts off like, it can start off like a sugar push. So it starts off with the leads going back. And then they're keeping the arms nice and relaxed, same with follows. And that's what keeps me from turning. So my lead's trying to lead me straight down the line. Arms are relaxed, so I'm not getting any rotation or energy from the frame that might turn me. And I'm just moving back down the line. I'm going all the way through here, I'm just motoring, until I feel this kind of on my ribs a little bit, and then just straight back. Yeah, and leads, we really thought, or I like to think of it as really feeling like a slam in terms of the footwork, but you really have to emphasize getting around your partner so you never interrupt that straight line movement. And also really make sure that when you're pulling your partner in, your left arm is nice and relaxed and loose, so everything feels smooth and you're never yanking. It's easy when you get like in this kind of movement to like get your arms twisted and turned around if you have a little too much tension. So really focusing on that leading with your body and keeping your arms loose. And then we did not teach this, but we showed it because it came up in a question. And if you want to learn it, we will teach it in our next session. It's a turn out of this basket. And that gets into sort of tensing and relaxing the frame and when to engage. So if you're curious to know more about that, take our next class. I'll see you soon. Thanks, everyone.